Hello, this is Mr. Frank, and welcome to Dividing Fractions in Mixed Numbers. we got a lot to do today, so let's dive in. So let's remember what division uh, should be thought of as. So really what division is, is how many we start with. We divide it by how many is going to be in each group, and the answer is the number of groups. And of course, we're going to use food to just demonstrate this, right? Let's use popcorn right now. So food can help us with division. Let's say we have eight cups of popcorn or bags of popcorn. There are two cups uh, per serving and we want to figure out how many servings. Now we know eight divided by two is four, but let's take a look at what this looks like visually. So we have eight cups of popcorn. There we go, eight cups. We're going to say each serving is two. So I've now grouped them in uh, groups of two and each group is one serving and you can see down here at the bottom, there are four groups. One, two, three, four, four groups. That's my answer. Now, I know we know this division, but it's going to get a little trickier when we start using fractions. So I want us to have a visual way of understanding what division means. Let's take a look at this. We've got five cups, and there are two cups per serving. So here I've got five cups of popcorn. I'm going to break them into the same two groups, but check this out. I don't have a full group here. I've got one group here, two groups here. I've got a half a group here. So my answer is two and a half. Five divided by two is two and a half. So that's what it visually looks like. And now let's add, a, let's put a fraction in here and see what happens. I've got five cups of popcorn and each serving is a half a cup. So how many servings do I have? Let's cut all these bags of popcorn in half and you can see I've got 10 servings. Five divided by a half would be 10. So that's, again, what it visually looks like. And let's take a look at here. This is how we need to think about it. How many we start with, how many in each, divided by how many in each group. And that gives us the number of groups. So um, let's do uh, one where you try. So we have two cups of popcorn, and each serving is a third of a cup. How many servings do you have? So um, put this in Ed Puzzle, and then come on back. All right, let's see how you did. Um, so here's how I would draw it. I would say uh, three servings per bag because each serving is a third of a cup. So it looks like that and I would count how many servings I have. One, two, three, four, five, six. I put the numbers right there. I have six servings. So hopefully you got six servings. Um, and uh, now what do we do if both numbers are fractions. Huh. So let's take a look at this. I've got that same bag of popcorn, but I don't have a full bag of popcorn. How much do we start with? We only start with a half a bag of popcorn. So I shaded it so you can see what a half a bag of popcorn looks like. And I'm going to divide by one eighth, and it's one eighth of the whole. So here's what that looks like. I've just separated this. If it were a full bag, I separated it into eighths, but I only have a half a bag. So I only have four servings here. I have a half a bag and each group, each serving is an eighth of a cup or eighth of a bag. I would have four servings and that would be my answer. So now I don't expect you to uh, always think about popcorn. We can also think about pizza. You guys know I'm from New York and when I talk about pizza I bring out my New York accent here and we got a, we don't have a, a whole pizza. We got a pizza pie and each one of these things is called a slice and we get this at a pizza parlor. Remember that. That's important stuff for when you go to New York. So here we got a half a pie right there. Half a pie and you can see it shaded and each slice, it, uh, each slice, in each group one eighth of a, one eighth of a pie. So I got one eighth of a pie and pizza's usually cut in eight slices so this makes sense to us. So we got half a pie each portion is one eighth of a, a pie or a slice. We got four slices. So if you like to think pizza, you think New York, that's cool. If you want to think popcorn, that's okay too. All right, I'm coming back to my normal voice. All right, how's that? Now, we just saw one half divided by one eighth, and we know what that answer is. We said it was four, but now let's take a look at how else we can look at this. So I'm separating these two numbers. I'm taking this dividing sign. I'm going to make it into a fraction. These are the same thing, one half divided by one eighth. I can write it either way. It doesn't matter. Now, we can multiply both sides, both the numerator and the denominator, by uh, the same number to create equivalent fractions. Right? I'm not changing the value of this 
by multiplying both the numerator and the denominator by 8 over 1. Because 8 over 1 over 8 over 1, that's like 8 over 8, which is equal to 1, because any number over itself is equal to 1. So in effect, I'm multiplying this all by 1. But I'm going to just you know do it with this and create an equivalent fraction. So I can multiply across my numerators. I multiply my numerators. I multiply my denominators. And I get 8 over 2 is equal to, let's see, 8 over 8. What's 8 over 8? That's kind of a special number, right? Any number over itself is going to equal 1. And 8 over 2 is going to equal 4. So I have 4 over 1, and that's going to equal 4. Now that's the same number we had when we were talking about pizza and popcorn when we were doing this problem. So okay, we know the answer's right, but now let's break this apart a little bit and see what we see. So here's the bottom. Let's take a look at the bottom here. We multiplied by an equivalent fraction, which created a number over itself, which is equal to 1. So we have made it so that the denominator is equal to 1. And any number over 1 is that same number. So in effect, what we've done is we've made it so we don't have to, we, we made the denominator 1. So with it, the answer is going to be what's in the numerator. Right? So that's the first thing to, to think about. The next thing to think about is check this out. I want to compare this 1 eighth and 8 over 1. There's a special name for that relationship where the numbers are flipped and another uh, the special name for that is reciprocal. So let's make sure we remember what a reciprocal is. So the definition of a reciprocal is two non-zero numbers whose product is 1. So what does this really mean? Let's take a look at this. If the number is 5, we can write that as 5 over 1 as a fraction. And the reciprocal, we'd flip them, it would be 1 fifth. If we multiply 5 over 1 times 1 fifth, it would equal 1. Here's another example, 8. 8 over 1, the reciprocal is 1 eighth. We can also start with a fraction, 3 eighths. The reciprocal would be 8 thirds. We're flipping the numerator and the denominator. And here we have 5 sixths, and we're flipping it to 6 fifths. So that's the reciprocal. I want you to write an example of a reciprocal. Choose any number you want. Put in that number and its reciprocal. All right, hopefully you did that. We'll check that. Uh, I'll check that on Edpuzzle. And now let's go back to this example. So I want to highlight this. Dividing by a number is the same as multiplying by its reciprocal. See, I haven't changed that. We know the answer to this is 4. We know the answer to this is 4. The only thing I've changed is, instead of dividing by a number, I'm multiplying by its reciprocal. And that, so dividing is the same as multiplying the first number, which is the dividend, by the reciprocal of the second number, which is the divisor. So let's put this into an algorithm or a rule that we can use. So if we have one half divided by one eighth, we can, it's called keep change flip. So let's take a look at this. We can keep the first number, first number stays the same. We can change division to multiplication, right? We're changing division to multiplication. And when we do that, we then flip the next number. We flip the next number. Now, we don't turn it all the way around. We flip it to its reciprocal, 1 8 to 8 over 1, right? 1 8 to 8 over 1. So we use the reciprocal. So we can call that keep change flip. So we keep the first number, we change division to multiplication, and we flip, or we take the reciprocal of the second number. And then, of course, we solve it. So 1 times 8 is 8, 2 times 1 is 2. We simplify that, and our answer is 4. All right, I want you to practice here. So I have two problems for you to do. I want you to do keep, change, flip, and uh, you'll put your answers into Edpuzzle, and then we'll go over it. All right, let's see how you did. You should have kept the 1 third, change division to multiplication, and flip 1 ninth to 9 over 1. We then multiply 1 times 9, we get 9. We multiply the denominators, 3 times 1 is 3. And when we simplify, we get 3. How about the second one? Keep, change, flip, and then we solve. 1 times 8 is 8, 4 times 1 is 4, and that simplifies to 2. All right, here are three of them for you to do on your own. You'll bring them back to class tomorrow. If you're not sure what to do, rewind a slide. All right, welcome back. And of course, let's end with what did you learn or were reminded of, and questions that you have are. Please put that in. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you in school.